how are you all doing happy new year to all of you in c gangs i know it's been a long time yeah your girl was away a lot of things happened last year wasn't really a good year for me it was but uh, along the line something happened that made me you know went off youtube for that long time that i went up i haven't been off youtube for that long time before but i'm sorry guys i'm sorry but guess what i am back and i am back with the right teas you know how it is it is new year and i'm here to set the table right for my ladies you know how we're doing so in today's video we will be talking about how to be a badass bitch in 2024 you know it's a new year and it's a new year new start a lot of you say new year new resolutions yes that's how they say it but me I don't believe it's like a um, new year, new resolution thing. I think, you know, it is just new year and upgrade. Yeah, you upgrade what you, you did the previous year. If you did something really good last year, then you have no business with new year, new resolution thing. But if you, don't, if you didn't do anything right, then new year, new resolution is definitely for you. So today I'll be giving you all five tips on how to be a badass bitch in 2024 let's go number one be the best that you can ever be in 2024 if you want to be a badass bitch then you need to be your best all the time that you've denied yourself um happiness you've denied yourself laughter you've denied yourself peace because of one problem or the other just let those things go in 2024 it needs to be a new you it has to be a new you it must be a new you be the best that you can be start thinking about yourself first yes people are gonna say you were selfish yes be selfish think about yourself first think about what makes you happy think about what makes you you know be in the good mood you know just put yourself first you know um a lot of us we have toxic family toxic friends you know people who don't want us to be the best version of ourselves but this year if you want to be a badass bitch you know what you do just pack those people gather them and throw them aside just pack them and put them aside you need to start seeing yourself for who you are you need to start feeling yourself if you know something that makes you happy start doing it if it's partying if it is working if anything that you know that you know if you do this thing it's gonna make you feel good it's gonna make you look good it's gonna make you, you know look happy then sister do it that is the best way that you can be a bad thing as a lady first thing when you wake up in the morning dress your bed you heard me right some of you when you wake up in the morning because you live alone you're just gonna leave your bed like that and go out you can even go and return before you dress your bed some of you don't even dress your bed you come back the next day you fall on your bed the other day you go out and that's it listen girl you need to start upgrading your standard upgrade your life by first knowing how to arrange yourself dress your bed when you wake up after dressing your bed you sweep your room if you're the kind of person like me that likes throwing things around like me once i get back from the gym or anything like the previous evening i just throw my things around but in the morning i don't say to arrange my things arrange your things you know when you dress up your bed you arrange your things you pack your clothes the dirty clothes you take it to your bathroom or where you do your laundry you just keep it there and then you go and brush your teeth wash your tongue sister we need to upgrade our way of living we need to upgrade ourselves, our physical self our appearance and everything you brush your teeth you sweep your room you arrange everything everything you know you, you you place everything how they are supposed to be then you go to the kitchen you make breakfast a lot of you because of laziness you skip breakfast i was in that group before i used to do that before like i don't like cooking so because of that i can stay hungry the whole day but not in 2024 you know breakfast i have read about breakfast and i see that a lunch breakfast is very important no matter how small it is just get something very small to eat you know make breakfast you don't need a whole lot of food you don't need benku you don't need kenke you don't need plenty food you don't need heavy food for breakfast just a small maybe tea maybe oats maybe fruit juice like smoothie and that's it then you go out for the day but if you don't go out like you don't work or um you are off or you do online business you work from home make sure you take your baths at least not later than 10 a.m 
that is the best way it says now in 2024 we are upgrading ourselves i have to put you through i am your big sister i will put you through whether you like it or not you need to take your shower your morning bath at least not late than 10 a.m some of you because you don't go anywhere you don't have nothing doing you can be there laying on your couch because your room is cold, you have AC, your room is cold, you don't even feel the need to go and bath. Girl, not in 2024. We need to start up a new habit. We need to start this um, upgrading thing, this level up things. We need to start it right from inside of us. You take your shower. Then you can relax to do your online business. Like at least by 9, 10, you are done taking your shower. Then you come online. If you do online business, you post your things. And if you don't do online business, you just, you know, look for something to do. Maybe read books, maybe watch videos, maybe do things. You understand? And yes, if you don't have um, online business doing, then trust me, you have no business being on the internet for 24 good hours. This is 2024. We need to fix ourselves into something. We need to get busy with something. If you don't have anything selling online, then sister, I am telling you today, you have no business. Being online 24 hours, jumping from one gossip blog to another, that's not for you this year. I am your big sister and I'm dragging you here. Then number two on how to be a badass bitch in 2024 is changing your circle exactly you need to upgrade your circle the people you call friends the people you call colleagues the people you call family you need to upgrade it you know family is not friends okay i won't say upgrade for family but if you have of um a family member let's say one family member that is always dragging you back and you know you were close to that family a uh, member this is the year to distance yourself from that family member you need to give that family member space you are not you know you're not fighting with him or her you are not cutting off from them but you just give them space just because they are your family you don't cut off from your family but you can distance yourself from your family they are still your family but if they are friends like you have friends that are not adding any value to your life whether to your finances or to your leveling up journey or anything that has to do with you or your personal life if you don't have any friend that can contribute to it then sister you have no business with such friend for you to be a badass bitch this year you have to move in the circle of people who are on the same lane as you who are chasing their dreams and aspiration as you if the kind of friends you have are the friends that will just sit around to talk about men, 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 then sister, you don't have friends. If the kind of friends you have are the kind of friends that will only sit down to gossip about people, to talk about how other people are living their life, or but like, girl, you know what I'm talking about? You know, girls, girls, sister, if you have those kind of friends, then you don't need them. If you have friends that you cannot run to when you need idea, let's say you want to start up a business, then, you know, you go to your friend and say, hey, girl, I want to start this kind of business. What do you think? And that your friend has nothing upstairs to offer you, like, a business idea like an idea you know it will help you if you don't have those kind of friends then girl leave that circle you need to be in the circle of ladies who knows what they are doing who wants to upgrade their lives who wants to be women do you know what i'm talking about i know you know so girls i'm saying it don't be friends with ladies that are always talk down on ladies that are winning be friends with ladies who wants to win. Be friends with ladies who have dreams. Be friends with ladies who have goals. Be friends with ladies who wants to level up. If your circle don't inspire you, trust me, they will drag you down. If you want to be a badass bitch in 2024, you need friends who are also into the same journey as you, who are also leveling up, who also wants to be a badass bitch, who will think about businesses that you will do, who will tell you, you know what, girl, let's do this business. You know what, girl, let's travel to this country. You know what, girl, let's do this, let's do that. It's not about sitting down to talk about movie, to talk about people, or you watch movie all day, you waste your time all day. That is not what we are in for in 2024. Number four things that will make you a badass bitch in 2024 is having your own money. Hey, you see this one? It is very important. 
as a lady who wants to be a badass bitch in 2024 you need to start earning your money i know mm, men will spend money on us men are supposed to give us money men are supposed to do this but sister listen you need your own money when you have your own money as a lady it will save you from unnecessary fuck and unnecessary stress with your own money believe it or not a man will not just treat you anyhow he wants a man will not speak to you anyhow he wants a man will not you know will not step on you whenever he wants and however he wants if you have your own money sister you have your own respect and when you have respect you have self-respect people will respect you listen girl you need your own money you need it all it is very important you have your own money see i don't care how you will get the money but you just need to get your own money sister you need to get a job if you know you are a graduate you know or you know the skills you learned or you know you have something that can offer you money you know when you offer this thing to somebody maybe a service or something you're going to make money from it then sister get into it this year we need to get our own money but if not go into business look at the internet the internet is there the internet is free you only need data the same data you use in watching uh, all the blogs the same data, um, data some of you use the data to play candy crush you play game you even pay for game like girl you don't have your own business but you pay for games online the same time you use in playing games, the same data you use in playing games, sister, you can use that same data to sell something online. Listen, girl, everything sells. When I say everything sells, I mean anything you post out there, they sell. Nothing sells. You fold your arms like this, it's not going to sell. You need to sell something. Go into Cantamanto. Go a big thrift. Okay, they call it thrift now, but the name is... um used clothes okay they are used clothes they call it okrika they call it aloko they call it different thing this um thrift i know you understand what i say i don't know how they call it here this cantamanto clothes this used clothes go go in the morning first selection go and select get manicure manicure is 150 hang your clothes you know style your clothes on a manicure take a picture with it you don't need any you don't need iphone 15 you don't need iphone 18 you don't need iphone 14 to do all of those things with your android phone and your small iphone you can do that some of you you are just there investing on phones phones you have big phones but you don't have nothing that gives you money your phone can make you a millionaire i am telling you my phone made me a millionaire a millionaire i'm good i'm, I'm almost getting to a billionaire now I don't want to brag, but let me brag today. I've made so much money and my phone gave it to me. I don't have an office. A lot of you know me. I don't have an office. It, it was only last year that I got into a self-compound. I used to live in the chamber and hall self-contained. And that was where I am. And I do all my business. I do all my business there. I do everything. I say a lot of things in my um, chamber and hall. It was only 20, um, 2023. That was last year that I got my four bedroom that I am right now and it was because i know how to see if you don't know how to start up a business or manage your single room that you are listen girl even if you get a five bedroom apartment you will still not know what to do with it i am telling you you need to get busy with something go to katamoto early morning monday tuesday wednesday i don't know when they open their bills but i will find out and get back to you go and get shift shift is what ladies are wearing now ladies are in see i can't remember the last time i went into a boutique to buy clothes no it's not like i don't have money to buy boutique clothes but i don't like when i wear clothes i see it like all over a lot of people wearing it so i go for thrift when you buy good thrift original thrift nice thrift to sell you will make customers you will make money you will have customers you will get ladies that will tell you, you know what when you return from market call me let me come and take first girl you can buy thrift for 10 10 cities 20 20 cities and you sell it 80 80 cities online i remember one time i told you all about how to, um five businesses to do uh i think I, I made a video last year or two but some people took that um video serious some people didn't take it serious and i must tell you a lot of people have seen changes
Girl, you need your own money. When you buy your thrift, you put it on your manicure. Take picture of it. You need one ring light. That same ring light that you have in your house that you used to do your TikTok video to dance to all um new music and all of that, all trendy music and all of that. You can use that same TikTok and um, that same ring light to take picture of your 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 commodity, your goods, and post it online. Post it on your WhatsApp status, post it on your TikTok, post it on your Instagram, post it on your Snapchat, and since you will make a lot of money. In this year, 2024, we are ready. And as I am going, I am dragging you all along. Sister, get busy with something. If you don't want to sell thrift, you can go on the shoe side. You will see shoes, thrift shoes, um, used shoes, buy it, wear it. Wear it and let somebody take a picture of I sell sandals. And you see, if you follow my sandals page on Instagram, Tills Joy, you see where I take pictures of my sandals. I wear it and I take pictures of it, do video of it, and I post it there. You can do that. You can do makeup thing. You can even go for a wig. Like, you buy a wig from the wig shop, you go and wig it yourself or give somebody to wig it, and you sell it as wig cap. Girl, there are lots of businesses to do out there. Girl, you need to get your hands into one of it and make your own money. When you make your own money, when you have your own money as a woman, you become a boss chick. And that is the highest badass bitch that you will ever be. Now, number five on how to be a badass bitch in 2024. You need to change the things you watch. From movies to those on Instagram to those on Snapchat. Listen, if the things you watch cannot contribute or will not contribute to what you want to be in life, then you don't have any business watching it. If you are the kind of person that likes watching movies, then I recommend you watch movies that will help you grow. Movies where you see ladies, you know, winning. And movies where you see ladies, you know, looking all pretty. Movies where you see ladies doing something, acquiring something, you know, owning properties and all of that. Listen, ladies can be anything they want to be only if they determine to be it. I read an article last week. Yes, it was last week or last week. There was this lady that the daughter got married. We didn't know about the daughter. I only knew um, about the daughter from the lady herself. She was one of the most powerful women in Nigeria. The daughter did wedding. The wedding, if you are in Nigeria and you're watching my video, you know what I'm talking about. The wedding, I don't know, I don't want to mention the woman's name. The wedding, the daughter's wedding. Uh, see, I don't even know how to. The, um, what do you call it? The uh, airpiece man was there. Almost all the governor in Nigeria were there. The the uh, above, I don't know, I don't know, was there. Oh, see, if you see dignitaries, and you know how they got to the to the wedding, it was because of the woman. She's a married woman. She has husband, but she has the connection. The connection was hers. She has a multi-million dollar business. Girl, I was I was motivated. I was pushed. I read the article and I said, you know what? I want to be like this. I want to be somebody that my children will be proud of me. And girl, I am pushing this to you. Become something that your children will be proud of you tomorrow. See, I know we want, we, we, we are there, we are saying, oh, I don't have connection, I don't have connection. How about you building connection and your children get this connection from you? Girl, it will be a lot of honor. It will be a lot, of, see, it will be a great thing for you to have a connection. Girl, read books. I, see, I, I will advise you to read books. You see there, that's few of my books. I have some in my bedroom. I have started investing in books. Read books that will help you grow. Watch movies that will help you grow. If you go on Instagram, follow women who knows what they are doing. Follow women who talks about, um, you know, building other women. Follow women who talks about, you know, um, women growing, women owning money, women owning properties and all of that. Don't just follow people who shout and worry and what. That's why I left Facebook. Say this, this girl, this bitty girl that is always shouting on Facebook. She's oh, today she's fighting this person tomorrow because of that. I stopped it because if you just come online, she's the first person you will see. Even after I unfollowed her, sometimes, sometimes her this thing just pumps up like, bro, you don't need those things. A lot of you, you don't mind, you will be there, you'll be watching somebody the other day at the airport. Uh, some other lady was watching the same lady, how she was shouting. Wah, wah, wah. Then I looked at the lady and I said, Is this lady that actually watching this person? This person you're watching is insulting people, shouting and insulting people. I mean, clap back. I mean, how do they call it? Clap back. 
insulting people you waste your time you waste your data to watch someone who is insulting another woman who is calling another woman prostitute fat this one ugly this one who is talking down on other lady you are wasting your time watching this person if you're watching this person tell me what are you going to learn from this person girl this is not the year where we sit down to watch people talk down on other women if you are not going to raise your fellow woman up then we don't have time for that if you want to follow people on Instagram, follow people that inspire you in fashion, inspire you in makeup, inspire you in living.